Hey guys, this is my very first gameplay video for ZPTV123. Here we have a nice interesting flamethrower only match between me and my friends Grayson and Chase. Uh, let's see. Chun G is Chase, he's the crappiest of the three of us. Che Olympian is Grayson, he is the middle. Because I'm better than him, but he switched to the Xbox. And I'm going to be playing on the Xbox Online a lot more, like at least this summer once I get my Xbox. So this is a flamethrower only between me and those two guys. Only flamethrowers. And I may have said knifing, I can't exactly remember. We're all using, I think we're all using M16s with flamethrowers. So the flamethrower has a very short-lived flame, and it doesn't have very good range either. But it doesn't take too long to kill someone as long as you can hit with it. So, uh, actually I'm going to take that off so you guys can see everything. So as you can see, I'm in the lead right now. And this match turns out to be very, very close. But I'm not going to say who wins. So it was also knifing, okay. See, I'm not going to say anything about who wins. But I will say it is a very close finish. Ah, Chase. Alright, man, that was Grayson, okay. It's more fun to spectate this one from the air, though. Ah, uh, then he gets revenge. Call me in, in the napalm, but I can't remember if I banned kill streaks or not in this match. Yeah, I did. So I just tossed it off the map, just to be fair. I almost got a double kill there if I had been there just a little bit faster. I'm not sure what I got hit by there. Oh, Grayson gets just calling in and destroying. Uh huh. Bye bye, RCXD. Aw, oh, Grayson, you steal my kill. What a jerk. And keep in mind this is being recorded in theater mode because what I found is that whenever I try to record a gameplay video, like, while I'm actually playing it, I just fail. Because I'm partially because I'm also trying to commentate during it, so that doesn't help. So I can't concentrate as well. And secondly, because I just all of a sudden suck like that, yet if I'm playing on my own, like if I'm playing without recording, I usually go an average of like maybe 31 and about 10 or so, like uh, high 20s, low 30s, and never more than 10 deaths. So I'm usually pretty good. And I usually do that with the Spaz 12, the AK-47, or the AK-74. Occasionally I'll switch to something different. Occasionally I'll use the G11, but I don't really... I liked it a lot during my first uh, time before I prestige, but then I stopped using it for whatever reason. I just maybe didn't like it as much or something, because it was starting to be, like, completely inconsistent to where sometimes it would take... Wow, epic fail by me. But sometimes it would take, like, two bursts to kill, and sometimes I could hit someone with four bursts and it wouldn't kill them. That's why I didn't really like the G11. So as you can see, the match is... Staying pretty close for the most part. It's 11 to 9 to 9. I think whenever you get that uh, skull and crossbones, that means you killed yourself. That's what I'd be willing to bet. So yeah, I'm in the lead with 12. Chase is in second with 10. And Grayson's in third with 9. So he was getting really mad. And honestly, I wish you guys could hear what they were saying in these matches. But it's always really funny because... Of the group... Like, I'm thinking of possibly adding these guys to the ZP stunts group. Just for fun. Just so I have a few extra guys that are actually in it. Because Chase is in, like, all my gameplay videos. And Grayson will be once I get my Xbox. So, basically, I might, might end up making Chase and Grayson both members of the team. As well as Lizard Guy's already on it. Oh, almost got a double there. And he manages to hit me with the end of the flame. But of us four... I'm the overall best gamer for Call of Duty and some of the other games like Killzone and Homefront. Grayson is the best of us four on the Xbox. 
easily, I'm sure. I haven't seen him play on it, but I know he's better than me on the Xbox just because I've never really played the Xbox that much, just at a few friends' houses, and that's about it. Except for whatever, except when I played it for Modern Warfare 2, I did, like, better the first time I had played the Xbox 360 in my life than I had on the PS3 for, like, weeks or so. I played way better on the 360, so that was really funny. Then again, that was back in Modern Warfare 2, so I'm not exactly sure about how it is in Black Ops, but either way. And then Chase is the most failure-tastic of us all, and he makes pretty good funny failures sometimes. Lizard Guy is just obsessed with using rocket launchers and, like, Semtexes and explosives and stuff. It's really annoying. He can be so annoying to play with because of that. That was just called Epic Fail that I shouldn't have had. But he's just really annoying because of that, because he's really good with the explosives. Ha, <laughs> Chase kills himself. So... Uh, and Grayson's also the one that freaks out the most, like, he gets really mad, because we had a gameplay that we did a while back, where it was me versus me and, or me versus Grayson and Chase back in Modern Warfare 2, like, usually every Friday night we'd set up a, we'd set up a series of matches in that game, where we'd have, like, us set into three different matches, and each time we'd do a different team, like, me and Grayson, then me and Chase, then Chase and Grayson versus the other person. We're very near the end here, actually, I believe. Right now, we're at... Grayson's leading 19. I have 18. Chase has 17. But those gameplay videos were always hilarious. Like when Grayson kills himself with his own airstrike while he was camping on top of Rust and it stopped him from doing well. So there, Chase gets a double kill, and I get a... Kill, I get a special kill. And here, for the win! Yeah, baby. Really gay match-winning kill, but I don't care. Because he probably should have killed me there. And I'm actually going to go back and show you guys that from Grayson's perspective. Well, first, here's this part again. And now here's his, here it is from his perspective. Chase calls in a spy plane. He should have killed me. I will say, he probably should have killed me there, but somehow I got through it. But yeah, he gets really mad. Or one time when me and Chase did, like, a 1,300-point comeback in a really hilarious way. But I'm not going to discuss that here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was pretty good. Pretty close match.